Hello everybody, this is Drew Naylor and welcome to part 5 of my Wii Shop channel video series. Today we're going to be going into the virtual console section. And as you can see under the virtual console title up here, that really looks like Open Sans. I don't know if it is for sure or not. I highly doubt that it's, um, wait. Hmm. I don't know what it could be. Not sure. But it is a nice font. Um, uh, I was thinking that it could be Sego UI or something, I don't know. But I doubt it. I mean, it could. No, it's not Sego UI. Because the E right here um, is angled up like that, kind of. But Sego, the letter E on Sego UI is not. So it has to be something else. Could could be Open Sans or Helvetica or something, I don't know. It looks nice. Virtual Console. Classic games from past systems. So we've got popular titles, newest editions, search by category, search by game title. I'm going to go under popular titles first. And we have uh, Super Mario Bros. Super Mario Bros. 3, The Legend of Zelda, Mario Kart 64, Pac-Man, Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link, Super Mario Bros. 2, or as it's known in Japan as Super Mario USA, Kirby's Adventure, which is a pretty good game. Um, I've played it before, it's really fun. Um, Super Smash Bros. And the, I assume the original Sonic the Hedgehog. Now if we go under one of these, this is a Sega Genesis game. Uh, it was released June 23rd, 1991. Uh, for one player's Sega Adventure Platformer. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, you can use a Wii Remote for this. More details. I wonder what it would say for like something. Another company. Oh wow, that's it. Okay. Um, interesting that it was released on June twenty third, nineteen ninety one. Uh, Donkey Kong. Wait. Why is there another Sonic game? That's Sonic on the Sega Genesis. Sega Master System. Oh yeah, this is the, um, earlier one. Okay. Wait. I think that was when it, like, it was backported? I don't remember. That's the only thing that I can guess because it's 500 Wii points as opposed to 800. Hmm. So Super Mario 64, Super Mario World, Punch-Out featuring Mr. Dream, that's the one that got released to uh, stores. Final Fantasy. A Mario Party 2, Donkey Kong Country, The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, and Wario's Woods. Newest Editions. Um, oh, a bunch of Neo Geo games, I guess. A lot of them. Oh! 
so this is the um the first few I assume. Hmm. Because they kinda did that with the um with DSI wear. Search by category. So we can choose system, and these are everything that they have on the different systems. So on the NES, they have 92 titles. On the Super Nintendo, they have 63. For Nintendo 64, they have 21. For the TurboGrafx 16, they have 58. Um, that was called something else overseas, but I don't remember what that was called. On the Sega Genesis, they have 73 titles. On the Neo Geo, they have 54 titles. Uh, Sega Master System, they have 15. In Virtual Console Arcade, they have 21. Oh, these are um, arcade games ported. There's not many on this Sega Master System. Oh, I've heard that, um, I've heard that the Alex Kidd series is pretty good. That was like the only alternative to, um, the only, uh, competitor to Mario back in the day before Sonic was created. There's a lot of them. Oh yeah, Majora's Mask, I forgot that's on uh, Virtual Console in Ocarina of Time as well. Wave Race 64. I really miss um, the graphics of the... Um, of the arcade Hydro Thunder. It was really good. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, so search by category. And then under publisher. There is a ton of games listed. I mean, a ton of publishers listed. Game Freak only released one. Wait. Game Freak is the... Game Freak is the company behind the Pokemon series. I mean, they, it was originally a, a magazine, but they do the Pokemon series. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, I just went into Hell Laboratories thing. Hudson Soft. I miss Hudson Soft. At least Super Mario Party is kind of similar to their um, old versions. Oh, there's one for 700 Wii points. That's neat. I really miss um, Hudson Soft.
Wait, there were, um, see there's a bunch more of them. I've heard our type is pretty good. I don't know what it is, I just know that some people really like it. So it's like Galaga. Oh, rated E. I mean, it's a shooter. That's not too common to see that. Factor 5. Oh, oh yeah, that's... um. Oh. Oh, well, I guess they wouldn't be listed here since these are virtual console games and not channels. A lot of them. Okay, sorry. Super Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, there were some, some, uh, Star Wars games. I think this is all that they... Super Star Wars is a... is well known. Yeah, at least, like, sometimes. Some of these companies only did one virtual console game. Ubisoft. I've heard that, um... I can't remember... There's a channel that shows that, um, yeah, there's a channel that, like, talks about different games. Can't remember, I think that might be... What channel is that? Lazy Game Reviews. I think that might be the channel that sometimes uses this game to show, like, different, um, audio. Like, different sound cards and stuff. Nintendo has a lot. I think they might have the most. These are really good. Super Metroid is a one that um, can have a lot of um, what's it called? Sequence breaking speed running. Oh, and sometimes uh, in the Wii Shop channel you would have imported games. So here is Super Mario Bros. The Lost Levels. In this case it would have a Japanese import flag. Um, released June 1986 for one players. Um, import games may contain foreign language, audio and or text or other references that are unknown to consumers. Under more details, this game was not previously released on the NES outside of Japan. There may be non-essential material in the game that is unfamiliar to consumers in the Western Hemisphere, including foreign language audio and text. Originally released in Japan as Super Mario Bros. 2, this game has previously made only brief cameo appearances in the Western Hemisphere. Now available on the Virtual Console in all of its all of its original splendor, Mario fans will appreciate the familiar look and feel of the game, while finding that its updated gameplay creates an entirely new challenge. No longer content to just to wear different colored overalls, Mario and Luigi also possess different skill sets. Mario can stop quicker, 
while Luigi can jump higher. In addition to the classic enemies already known to fans, worldwide there are, al there are also poison mushrooms, backward warp zones, and the occasional wind gusts, which, in which can help or hinder your progress. And remember, the wind makes for a comfy ride um, to take into account. And if that's somehow not enough, expert players can go looking for the game's secret, secret worlds. So get ready to put your Mario skills to the ultimate test and save the princess again. Just don't be surprised if she's in another castle. Oh, this is... that's one player. Only. Not two player. So that means that you can... Oh, that's right, I remember now. So you can play through the game as either Mario or Luigi. Um, okay, that's the entire list on that page. Um, there's quite a few here. That's my cat if you can hear it. 1,200 Wii points, wow, that's quite a lot. The Nintendo 64 is one of my favorite Nintendo consoles. It would be really nice if Nintendo were to make a, um, an N64 classic. I mean, I like the NES and SNES classic, but I kind of grew up more on the N64 and, well, also the GameCube games. I mean, I I played a lot of Wii games as well, but, I mean, like, I've played a lot of the older, the older, most of the older games I've played are, like, N64 and GameCube era. Yeah, I already went through this list. Um, oh! Okay, what's that called? Commodore. Hmm. Too bad there's no Commodore. I really like Galaga. Galaga, Galaga 90. What's the difference? Is this like Super Galaga? No, oh, that's TurboGrafx 16. a few pages. I mean, they only have two pages. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds soft. Sounds like, um... That kind of reminds me of uh, Sun, Java. I don't know, Sun, like what was the other part of their name, I wonder. I don't know for sure. So yeah, now we can go into the genre. So we've got action, adventure, fighting, puzzle, racing, RPG, simulation, Sports, shooter, board game. Is this like mostly Mario Party? Oh, only one. Oh yeah, there's only pinball. Is, oh yeah, pinball is a board game. Too bad there's only the first one. Education, Donkey Kong Jr. Yep. Oh, Donkey Kong Jr. Math. Yep. I figured that's what it would be. Is 
Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. Oh. Super Street Fighter 2, the new challengers. It's interesting that a um, virtual console game got online play. Oh, because it's the Genesis version, and I think was there dial-up? Was there dial-up back then? For Genesis? I can't remember. Hmm. I'm not really a... I don't really know that much about stuff. I mean, I know the Dreamcast had a dial-up modem, either dial-up or broadband modem that came with it. Oh, and the Atari 20, or one of the Atari consoles had, yeah, there's, there, there was something. I don't remember exactly what it was right now. I would have to look it up, but some consoles did have online play. Some really old consoles. Oh, and, um, now we can go to search by game title. And this gives you a rather large thing, and you can change your language, your dictionary, f from English to French or Spanish. I'm going to keep it on English. Um, so this is your keyboard up here um, that hides or shows the prediction bar. I assume if you hide it, it just helps not be so... Oh! And down here, the dictionary closes. When you close the prediction bar, that's a really nice touch. Well, you can type in stuff, and down here you can get another keyboard that kind of looks like a phone keyboard. And you can type in, like, if I want to type in... Oh, no. How did I type in a question mark? What? Um... Oh. How is it? How is it doing the question marks? What happens if I... No. Hmm. So that's what happens when you t don't type in something correctly. I'm going to go back under here again. If I hide this, it should work just like a phone. Yeah. Yeah, this is a... Um... This is... Not bad. On, as far as typing on, um, a keyboard is, a uh, software keyboard is concerned using a joystick to move it around vaguely, like an analog stick to move it around like it's a mouse pointer. So this is the list that shows up if you type in Super Mario. Interesting. But I'm going to go back into search by game title, choose this, and then I'm going to show different ways, different things that it can do. Like you can just, it doesn't have the beep codes, sadly, but it kind of does that. And if you type in... If you type in this, you can like press, move it around and press A to go where you want.
but you can actually do something a little bit more uh, useful and use a physical keyboard. So I just unplugged my uh, wi uh, wireless wireless mouse adapter and I'm going to go plug it into my Nintendo Wii. Okay, so now I can't move it around on my computer, but it should pick up on the Nintendo Wii. So if I press back, yes, it's working. Keyboard shortcuts don't work. Um, as far as I know, keyboard shortcuts don't work. But like we can type that. There's no enter. You have to get your Wii Remote back and go here and press A. So here's Super Mario Bros. 2. Maybe I should uh, record myself typing. I'm probably just going to be doing my original audio, so I'm going to be typing kind of slowly. So like that. Oh, and you have to, you might need to press enter. Yeah, you have to press enter if you type in a number. So now I'm gonna go down here. Too bad you can't move the mouse around. So I'm gonna press okay. And then it's gonna search for Super Mario 64. And it shows it right here. Ta-da. Nice. Okay. So I guess that's all uh, that I need to talk about with Virtual Console on the Wii Shop channel, at least. Uh, wait, hold on. There might be a few other things. Oh, yeah. Um, I do want to look up... The Commodore 64 games. Um, system. Sadly, they don't appear to have had any Commodore 64 games on here. Hmm. It's too bad. Sorry, I'm just getting a bit off track. Um, and then back. I think this video is about done, actually. So next time, in part 6, we're going to be going over the WiiWare titles uh, that are available in the Wii Shop channel. Goodbye for now. Oh no, my mouse is... I still have my mouse in the Nintendo Wii USB port.
There we go. Now I can use my mouse again. Yay! And my keyboard works too. Yay! 